In the small, forgotten town of Ravenswood, there lived a young girl named Emily. From the moment she was born, strange occurrences seemed to be drawn to her like shadows in the night. The townsfolk whispered about an old curse that plagued the families who had lived there for generations, and they believed Emily was his latest victim. As a baby, Emily's cries were said to be accompanied by eerie whispers that echoed through the empty halls of her family's creaking mansion. Her parents dismissed it as their imagination playing tricks on them, but the shadows in the corners of the nursery seemed to dance to another worldly melody whenever Emily was near. As Emily grew older, her experiences took a darker turn. She spoke of an imaginary friend named Jasper, a spectral figure with hollow eyes and a tattered Victorian era suit. Her parents assumed it was a phase, but they couldn't shake the feeling that Jasper was more than just a creation of their daughter's imagination. One night, as Emily lay in bed, she heard a haunting lullaby emanating from the antique music box on her dresser. The melody was both enchanting and chilling, and the room was bathed in an eerie glow. Emily's heart raced as she saw the silhouette of Jasper, his form shifting and contorting with each note of the haunting tune. As the years passed, the mysterious events escalated, objects moved on their own, and ghostly figures flickered in the corners of Emily's vision. The townspeople avoided her, casting fearful glances whenever she walked by. Whispers of a malevolent force that clung to her like a shroud spread through the town, painting Emily as a harbinger of darkness. On her 16th birthday, Emily discovered an ancient diary hidden in the attic, belonging to a long-lost relative who had been accused of practicing dark arts. The pages were filled with cryptic symbols and ominous warnings about a malevolent entity that fed on the life force of those cursed by its presence. Emily's name appeared throughout the pages, linked to a prophecy that foretold the unleashing of an unspeakable horror. Terrified, Emily sought answers from the town's elderly recluse, an enigmatic woman rumored to possess knowledge of the supernatural. The old woman revealed that Emily was the chosen vessel for a vengeful spirit, bound to Ravenswood by a curse that sought retribution for the sins of the past. Desperate to break the curse, Emily embarked on a perilous journey into the depths of the town's haunted history. She uncovered dark secrets and faced spectral entities, all how the ominous presence of Jasper lurked in the shadows. As she delved deeper, Emily realized that she was the key to breaking the curse and freeing her bloodline from the grip of the malevolent force. The night was thick with tension as Emily performed a ritual in the heart of Ravenswood, guided by the words in the ancient diary. The air crackled with energy as she confronted the vengeful spirit, the very essence of darkness that had tormented her since birth. The townspeople watched from their homes, drawn by an otherworldly force, as Emily battled the supernatural entity that threatened to consume her. In a burst of blinding light, the curse was shattered, and the malevolent presence dissipated like smoke on the wind. Emily stood alone in the silence that followed. The weight of generations of suffering lifted from her shoulders. The townspeople, once fearful, now saw her in a different light a survivor, a hero who had faced the shadows that lingered in the forgotten corners of Ravenswood. But as Emily looked back at the decaying mansion that had been her home, she couldn't shake the feeling that some mysteries were best left undisturbed. The echoes of the supernatural lingered in the air, and Ravenswood, though freed from the curse, retained an aura of quiet unease. 
as if the town itself held secrets that would forever remain hidden in the shadows.